Hi, let me show you some code. This is a short example of a cluster with one master and one slave. After importing a cluster module, the program starts as being the master, so we enter the consequence part of the alternative. We set up three listeners, one online, one on message, one on exit, and then we fork the slave to create it and run it. The online event signals that a new slave is coming online. The message event handler will handle every message coming to the master, and the exit event will signal the end of a slave. The slave starts with the same code. So the initial message, printed twice, is printed again. Then since now we are no longer the master, we go to the alternate part of the alternative, which is this code. So we set up um, an event handler on message to handle the message coming from the master, and then we send to the master our first message saying that we are ready. So, let's see what happens. You see printer twice, the master will detect that the slave is now online after forking it. The slave print the printer twice message again, the slave sent ready to the master, and we are now at this line. So, the master receives the ready message and salutes back the worker with hi slave. We see it on that line. The message is sent to the worker. The worker processes it with the event handler here. We have something which is not stop but time, so we answer with the value of the current counter and the ping pong between the master and the, and the slave continues for some time. When the slave sends this precise message to the master with a counter uh, greater than 2, then the master sent to the worker a message asking it to stop. When receiving this message, the slave disconnect. When disconnecting, the master receives the exit event and disconnect itself. So this ends the whole program. So remember in this uh, uh, example of a cluster that the master and the slave are in two different processes. They share nothing at all. So for instance, the worker object in the master is not the same as the process object in the slave. Every cooperation between the two, the master and the slave, should go through messages.